Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to another video where it's finally time to give the Mini a new voice with an upgraded exhaust system from Malian. Let's get into it. So if you're wondering what the heck a Mini is doing on the channel, well, you've missed the reveal video where I've added this to the garage. But yes, this is my new to me 2005 Mini Cooper S, which I bought for my son. And we're gonna be doing it up a little bit to individualize it. So today, we're gonna to give the Mini a voice with an exhaust system that comes to us from Malian. Now, one thing I didn't like about the standard exhaust was the really small exhaust tips. So we're fixing that with some really nice chunky exhaust tips and uh, hopefully give a little bit more volume as well to the overall sound of the car. Now this is their resonated version, it's nothing over the top and it is a cat back system. Um, the system looks really good in terms of quality. It wasn't expensive, we're obviously doing this on a little bit of a budget. I think it was around about the five to $700 mark landed here in Perth, Western Australia. Probably a little bit cheaper if you live somewhere else. But yes, let's get into it fit the exhaust system to the Mini and see what it sounds like. But before we get into it, let's get a reminder of what this car sounds like with a stock exhaust. All right, let's see what we have to work with. Here's the standard exhaust. Catalytic converter, so we're going from here backwards. We have a brace to take off here, all the way back. And then there's like a little heat shield that we need to remove off here. And all of this convoluted factory system. And here are the little teeny tiny pea shooters that we're gonna replace with some uh, more appropriately sized tips. All right, well, doesn't look too hard. Let's get the tools and get started. So this brace here actually houses some exhaust hangers. So I'm actually gonna leave them attached and we'll remove them when we take the exhaust off. I think that'll be heaps easier. It's easier than I thought. That one's gonna be a bit more awkward. Of course it is, it's the harder one to get. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm in your view. This is Callum, everyone. Photographer extraordinaire. Oh. And general handy hand. You two break stuff and fix occasionally. Excellent with a hammer. <laughs> So that's the front done, and um, now the rear hangers, they're tucked way up in there, but you'll notice that there's actually a strap around the bottom of these mufflers. So I'm thinking if we undo this bolt up here, release those straps, and then the hangers will be able to get to a lot easier after that. Same on this side here. So I think that's the way we're gonna go. Hey. Got it.
front bolts loose for the time being. It's just so we can get everything lined up beautifully. All right, that's the middle. Let's go do the rest. And as always, remember guys, if the job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. So grab yourself some exhaust paste and chuck those onto the joins. Well, that is definitely an improvement on the factory system. You can actually hear the car now and I think it gives it a lot more character. I think the tone is really nice and you can finally hear those little pops and burbles that were already there from the factory but were just a bit muted by the OEM system. In terms of the quality of the exhaust, I think it's pretty good actually. Um, it goes together pretty easy and it's definitely a DIY that you guys can do in your own garage. Plus, it's pretty inexpensive as well. So, gets the thumbs up from me. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well because I've been itching to get this video out because it means I can go on to my next video which I'm super excited about. Finally, we get to tackle the sun damaged paint on this car and change the color of the whole car. We've got a wrap sitting in the garage which I've been itching to put on the car as soon as I can. So that's coming up really soon. If you want to see stuff like that, make sure you're subscribed and that way you won't miss any of the updates. Oh, and hit that notification bell as well. But that's it from me. I'll see you in the next video.